Hello everybody, Mr. Heave here. And I'm Mr. Weger. And today we're going to talk about conditional statements. Conditional statements help us manage the flow of our program. And what that means is that we as programmers get to control what gets printed out based on what the user types into our program. And it's um, really starting to make programs uh, that are a lot of fun. So I started off here with a program that says, uh, input, what is your favorite color? So we're just asking people what their favorite color is. So then uh, we, can, we can start off, and I'm just gonna retype this. So we can start off with if, and notice that if changed uh, to a blue color, it's one of the words that Python knows. And so I'm gonna say, all right, uh, if favorite color oh, equals equals. Hey, what's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Awesome, purple's a good color. Not the so, best though. Oh well, there you go. So, um, so if if favorite color equals purple, then I want it to I want the program to do something. So since this is an if, so we need to end all of our uh, statements in an if kind of flow with a colon. So if the favorite color is purple, then I am going to do something. Notice that it uh, Python tabbed over a little bit, but, and why that is is because everything that so if the favorite color is purple, everything that happens under this if statement that's indented is associated with yes, the color is purple. So uh, if the user says that the color is purple, I'm going to I'm going to do a print statement. So I'll say print. And I'll say mm, that's Uyghur's uh, favorite color. And we're good there. And then I think we're do something good. else. Let's just run this before we do something else. Sure. Let's see what it does. So what's your favorite color? If I say purple, boom, that's Uyghur's favorite color. But watch this real quick. Uh, so it's working. However, if I decide to press space, space, because that's too close there, and I type in purple, nothing's going to happen. Because space, space, purple is completely different than purple, or in Python size. And, and the, the condition wasn't met, right? So, so that's why it does nothing. Yeah. So one thing we could do, I should have probably had a question mark and have a space, space. So now when I run it, I won't have the impulse to hit the, um, the space bar when I say purple. All right. There you go. Um, yeah, and even if even if the user um, you know replied with a lowercase purple, it wouldn't meet the condition either. So um, there's you know some ways that we can overcome those difficulties, and we're going to discuss those in a later video. So now um, my favorite color is not purple. Right. What is it? It's blue. Okay. Well, so if it's blue, we're going to go else. Oops. Else. So notice that this is also a different color because else is also one of the words that Python knows. And you don't put in anything after an else because the idea is if this, then I do this. Else, otherwise, in all other cases, I'm going to say this. So I'm going to print. Ooh. Oh, come on. Well, just, <laughs> hashtag just saying, Mr. Heaven. All right. So now if we run this. Okay, what's your favorite color, Mr. Heeb? Blue. Oh. There we go. If I ran this and I said uh, yellow, he's still booing us. Right. Uh, but even if we said purple, lowercase, he still doesn't like it because that doesn't fit. It has to exactly be purple just as the way that he wrote it. That's it for this video. All right, have a good day.